Welcome to writing for week nine. Now there's gonna be some short videos this week, so this is gonna be a short video on what an explanation text is, because that's gonna be our focus for the next two weeks uh, before the holidays. Uh, so this is just a short video to explain what an explanation text is. Okay, now, where I've got my big ticks. So this is what an explanation text is. This is what it's not. Okay, now an explanation text is you explaining how something happens, okay? Or why something happens or happened, okay? So when you're in your um, writing mode and you're thinking, oh, how do I write an explanation text? You've got to think of why something happens or happened or how something works, okay? You're explaining to somebody how something works, all right? Now, the biggest confusion is how do you do something? So explain to someone how to do something, okay? Now, unfortunately, that is a procedural. Because if you can follow some instructions to complete a task, that means you've created a procedural, okay? Do not get fooled. Even though it says, how do you do something? Well, well that, that says how something happens. No, no, totally different. You're explaining how, how things work, okay? You're explaining how a clock works. You're not explaining how you ride a motorbike or how you cook a cake because that is a procedural because you can follow that. So if you start writing your explanation, you go, hang on, I can follow this and do it. That means it's a procedural. So stop and go back to explaining why or how something happens. And the only other, the other one where people get confused because this is very close to an information report, if you've just got random facts of information on something. So if you're, if you're doing on a how clock works, and you've got, uh, there are you know, 12 hour clocks, 24 hour clocks, there are digital clocks, okay? So you just give me information about clocks. Once again, you've given me the wrong bit of information because you're just telling me about something, okay? So this is explaining how and why things happen. So think of that word, happen, all right? Because if you're thinking how to do something, procedural. If you're giving me information about things, that is an information report. So please, do not get them confused. In your head, how and why happens, okay? How does a popcorn maker work? How does a TV work? So how does something happen, okay? So please, do not get those confused. If you start getting confused, watch this video again. Right, these are some brainstorming of what things you can possibly write about. How does a plane fly? So you're going to explain how a plane flies. Why did World War I start? You're going to explain how World War I happened. How does a fridge work? Why is there an alphabet? You're going to explain why there is an alphabet. How does it flood? You're going to explain how it floods. How, do, how did COVID-19 start? Okay, so how did COVID-19 start? You're going to explain how it started. Why are there numbers? So explain to people why there are numbers, why they're important. And why did people invade other countries? Okay, so that along with a heap and heap of other questions. All right, so remember, if you are basically instructing somebody how to do something, that is a procedural. If you're telling people about a topic, that is an information report. We are focusing on explanation texts. You are explaining to somebody how things work and why things have happened or why things work the way that they do. Okay? So, uh, hopefully uh, we have a good week of uh, writing and in the next video, uh, we're going to focus on uh, how we write our introductions. Okay? Uh, so, see you in that one.